NitroCell Integrated E-Commerce presents Persistent Filtered Search. By default, items are listed under a navigation structure, including departments and categories, and are typically searchable by keywords, brand names, and themes. Persistent Filtered Search, or PFS, allows your customers to narrow their choices by product attributes, such as color, size, and price. In fact, you can create an unlimited number of filtered groups, referencing any attribute you define for your customers to use. Getting started, you'll first want to determine if the desired product attribute data already exists in your database, or if it requires construction in the Web Store Manager. For example, you may have already used a subdescription field to define the colors or the sizes of your products. In this case, the operation is relatively simple and can be accomplished in just a few clicks. This is called a data filter group. If the data doesn't already exist, we have provided an intuitive interface to assist you in assigning your items additional attributes. This is called the standard or text filter group. In this demonstration, we'll create three filters, two database and one standard. We'll start with a simple price filter because we know all of our items have prices. First, enter the Web Store Manager and navigate to Filtered Search. Select New Group. Note the dropdown default is standard or text-based. Using the dropdown, you will see the selectable data fields to utilize. Select Price. Above in the Free Text field, you will name the group. This name will display at the top of the filter group in the Web Store. In this case, Price is the logical name. However, you could call it Price Range, Prices, or whatever you desire. Now save your group. You are then prompted to add price ranges. Using the dropdown, you can select to select ranges below, between, or above a price. Typically, you would start with a number and under, like 20 and under. Now save it. Next, you can begin to add additional ranges. Note, Overlapping is allowed. Finally, choose an overrange for the remaining prices. Save the filter and then select Back to Main Page. Your last step is to assign the filter to the departments, search, brand, and theme pages you'd like it to appear on. Unlike other filters, price will most likely be assigned to all departments because it's relevant store wide, whereas other filters might only pertain to one or two departments. Lastly, determine if you would prefer the filter to display on search results, brands, and themes pages. Now let's create another data filter group. Select New Group. Assuming our existing data is within Subdescription 1, using the dropdown, select it. Then name it for display in the Web Store. Unlike the price group, there are no ranges to be set. Rather, the Web Store will display any text entered in relationship to the items present. Note, this may expose inconsistencies in your data, such as varying abbreviations, which you may have to edit later. Save the group and return to the main page. Next, we'll create a standard filter group. Bear in mind, this is the method by which you can apply multiple attributes to a single item, such as multiple colors or features. Select New Group. By default, Standard Text-Based is selected. Now we only need to identify what the filter will be. In our example, we'll use Automobile Features. Next, we'll create Attributes. Similar to price ranges before, but now they are only true or false. A few attributes might be Air Conditioning, Sunroof, Leather Seats, Premium Stereo, and so on. Please note that you can make additional filters before applying any or all of them to your items. Next, we'll select items to apply attributes to. To assign attributes to items, first select at least one item, then choose the attributes to assign or unassign, and then click Save Assignments. By default, the list will contain every item currently live in the store. However, using the filters, department, category, subcategory, brand, and theme, you can narrow down the list to a manageable group. You can also use the search to produce a list. 
Further, you can organize your list by selecting item options. In this window, you can select what attributes are visible in the list, the number of items to display per page, and the sorting priority. With our list of items selected, you may now begin applying attributes. For example, our first item only has air. while the second has air and leather. The third item has leather and a sunroof, and so on. Once you've applied your attributes, remember to save. Note that you can see the attributes you've applied to each item. You may also remove attributes you've applied. Again, once you've completed assigning attributes to your items, you must also assign the filter itself to the departments, search, theme, and brand pages. Now in action, we can see our filters appear in the web store. Upon selecting an attribute, the page will refresh, showing only the items with the attributes you've selected. You may also clear your attributes and begin again. This completes the filtered search tutorial. For further assistance, see the NitroCell Partner Portal or contact support through the ticket system. Thank you for watching. NitroCell e-commerce, helping you succeed online.